Hello everybody, so this clip is an excerpt from my new course, Mixing Cinematic Music. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, uh, please check it out in the description of the video. Thanks and see ya! Okay, so the way compression works is that it can tweak the envelope of a sound, right? So if you use it on a drum, you can make it sound more powerful if you use the right settings. So on most uh, cinematic drums, I usually have an attack between 10 and 30 milliseconds and the release around uh, 100 to 200 milliseconds. Uh, one of the things to watch out for is the attack, because you want to preserve transients, you want to preserve that kind of initial snap of a drum, and then the tail, the release is kind of going to enhance the power of that drum by kind of making the tail longer. And it's the combination of this kind of enhanced attack and release that's going to make the drum feel like it's being hit harder. So let me show you a quick comparison here. We have this uh, drum sound. No compression. Now of course it's a bit louder uh, when there is less compression, because I'm compressing a lot here. But if you hear the effect, it's like it's slapping more with compression. It's like without compression, it's more like boo, 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 and the sound stops quicker. Uh, with the compression, it's like tooh, tooh, like there is a snap and then a longer tail. And the power comes from this tweaked envelope, right? The, the way the compressor tweaks the envelope of the sound, mainly. Um, so the way it looks is kind of like this. So this is the sound with no compression, right? It's like doo, doo, and it kind of dies off quickly. Now with compression, this is what happens. Uh, you cannot create the attack here. You create more of a snap by having the attack uh, not too short. So 10 milliseconds, between 10 and 30 is good. And the longer the attack, the more snap you create. But basically what this does is that it leaves a, a time before the compressor acts. So before the compressor will actually lower the volume and compress, you're going to have this front part here that's not compressed. And the result is that it creates a sort of spike, right? And then the thing is the compressor, it's going to take some time to release. So based on how much, like how you set the release, it's essentially going to raise the tail. So as the tail gets lower, it's like it tries to raise it like that, right? So you end up with actually a longer tail. You end up raising the, the room reverb, the natural room that's in between the hits. 